Today, Lori's making pork and wild rice as State Representative Scott Randolph talks about a subject that really hits home, property taxes. Hey, welcome back. We're here today cooking pork with Representative Scott Randolph. We are going to uh, get ready. We're going to fry this up a little bit, and we're going to wash some spinach. I uh, saw you looking at the salad <laughs> spinner earlier. We'll see if uh, I can operate it. We're gonna, no, I'm gonna, we're going to show you. It's super easy, and you're going to love it. And when you make salad, you, you'll just be really, really happy with it. Um, we're, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on, and we're, I'm going to add a um, tablespoon of butter and a little bit of olive oil. And okay. while I'm doing that, um, I'm going to ask you about the... Um, Taxing and Finance Committee. Tax, you, finance and Tax. Finance and Tax. Okay, I had it backwards. Um, you are the senior ranking Democrat on that committee, and yes. perhaps you can tell everybody what you do. Well, if you think about the, probably the two big committees in the legislature are the Appropriations Committee, so they spend the money, right. uh, decide how the money gets spent, and the Finance and Tax Committee uh, basically set, sets tax policy for the state. Uh, where's the revenue going to come from? Uh, who's going to get taxed? And... and uh, those type of questions every year. What are some examples of, of state taxes? I mean, well, a couple of the big issues that we've dealt with in the committee the last couple of years, if uh, are what we call the online travel companies, right? The online travel companies, Expedia, Priceline, who are out of state companies, mm -hmm. who uh, are basically cheating the state out of a tremendous amount of revenue, which is really not only it's a revenue issue for the state, but also a competitive issue for local businesses, particularly like local hotels. So the local hotels are having to collect taxes based upon the uh, retail rate of the hotel room, and these online travel companies have been trying to pay taxes on a wholesale price of that hotel room, and it costs the state about $40 million a year and costs local governments, particularly the arts, convention centers, tourism development, right. uh, about $30 million, but it also puts local hotels at a competitive disadvantage because they're having to collect that tax and so their hotel rooms are going to look more expensive than something that's online. That's a big issue. <laughs> and of course, uh, we're, yeah. always, we're always dealing with property taxes. Yeah, uh, but we the, do a the, lot I, with property I mean, taxes. I've been in local government and I know, you know I've, been, I've sat on a, on a town council and normally the millage rate, I mean, the millage rate is set by local government. It, the millage rate so, is set. Uh, what we do at the, at the state level a lot with property taxes is Actually, we set the millage rate for education. Oh, so actually, okay. and that is the biggest line on your property tax. I know bill. that. I when know you, that. And I'm sure it's being in local government and people complaining to you, thinking it's you. Uh, what happens is the, uh, the state actually sets the millage rate for the largest line on your property tax. It's, it's called the required local effort. So if you look at your property tax bill, that's set by the, by the, the state legislature. Okay, I'm going to have you salt this and then we're going to throw this in. Fantastic. Um, just how much? Just, just, just a little no, pinch. No, no, we're going to salt. Oh, actually, okay. salt the pork. Okay. Um, kind of like government, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding fresh sage leaves to this. Um, fried sage leaves are really good with pork. I don't know if uh, I, we shall you see. ever seen these before. Oh yeah. Most we, people we don't don't see you know fresh sage, but it's really a good thing. It's really easy to grow in your garden. Um, what we're going to do now is you're going to get wet. <laughs> yeah, sage, <laughs> at least my experience, sage tends to survive regardless of what you do. Almost. You can it's leave, a, you can ignore it. Yes. Um, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you dump that okay. spinach right in there, all of it. Just dump the whole thing in there. And then just get your hands in there okay. and dunk it. All right. Yeah, see, I told you you're going to be getting a little dirty. And then there's the dry your hands. And I'm going to have you okay. pick the spinach up and put it in the salad spinner. You're going to learn how to use a new tool. <laughs> no, no, you, no, no, oh, just, just, the, just spinach. the spinach. Just okay, the spinach. well, that would probably help then. Just the spinach. Oop. Get that closer. And, and you know, and this is this is what I wanted to show y'all. This says this is pre-washed spinach, and it says it's triple washed. This is what you eat if you don't clean it before you eat it. This Very is why true. we clean it. I put it in the glass bowl so everybody at home could see that. <laughs> okay. Well, let's now see. you just reminded me how dirty it can there be. You there go. you go. Now push the button. All right. And watch this. Look how cool that is. You know, when your daughter gets a little bit older, she's going to want to do that herself. <laughs> <laughs> she's just now getting to the strained carrot. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, these these pork tenderloins, um, we're just gonna we're just gonna sear them. Okay, I've got your bowl right here. 
Okay. Put that salad in. How do we lock um, this down? Oh, here. Just like this. Okay. I'm just like this. Okay, well. <laughs> no, I probably shouldn't have just put my hands in there. Oh, it's okay. Your hands are clean, right? You just dump it. There you go. Well, we all know that spinach makes you strong, and we're going to see just how much spinach Representative Randolph has to eat to survive in the house being in the minority. So come on back. Things really start to sizzle as Lori asks Representative Randolph about being a Democrat in a Republican majority. Coming up next on Live with Lori.